I regret to inform you that the Bricklink Designer Program Series 4 sets have been revealed to us as finalists. And you might normally say, hey, CPA, why do you regret to inform us? Don't you normally love the Bricklink Designer Program? And so that I would say, yes, I normally do love the Bricklink Designer Program. However, based on the normal level of skill we're used to seeing with this program, I regret to inform you that the skill just isn't there compared to what I normally see and normally expect of these finalists. Now that's first of all, not to say that these sets are not fantastic in and of themselves, but I do have to say, compared to what we saw out there in the Brooklyn Designer Program for Series 4, I think this level of skill just isn't quite up to the normal level of skill that we see before. Now, before we get into it too far, make sure you like the video if you're new here, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. Now, you can see our five finalists. We have the Merchant Boat, the Wild West Train, the Medieval Seaside Market, Siege Encampment and the Riverside Scholars. Let's get right into the builds. First off, the Merchant Boat. Now, I do I do like this one. And with approximately 1,900 pieces, I would say this will be around the $180 range. And so I think it'll be in that good spot. But this, in my opinion, might be one of the better ones of this set. It has that unique creativity. It's got that great design. It's got that modular type level of building, and I really do appreciate that style. But I just think I think there was better stuff out there potentially. And of course, this is all my opinion, but I do have to say so far, this one might be, in my opinion, looking like the best one so far of this series. Moving on to the next one, of course, we have another train. We've had so many trains so far in this iteration of the Brickling Designer Program series. So I'm, I'm kind of intrigued as to why we're getting absolutely another train. I mean, the train fans, you better be eating this up because you are eating good uh, for these couple of seasons or series here. And now this one at 20, almost 2,800 pieces, I would expect this to be no less than $250. So you're really starting to compete with some of those idea program sets when you're getting into this and trying to decide. Do I really want to buy this one or can I just deal with some of the other sets, other th the other train sets that might be out there? Moving right along to the Medieval Seaside Market. And I think personally, between this one and the next one, these are kind of at the bottom level, especially man, looking at Series 1 with the Mountain Fortress. This just unfortunately does not compare. The castle build style seems a little weak a little contrived, a little derivative of stuff we have already seen. There doesn't seem to unfortunately be too much creativity in this set that we definitely saw in other Brickling Designer Program submissions. Now going through these pictures, I haven't done too much of a detailed look, so we'll see if anything sticks out to us. Of course, it is modular in its own respect where you can take it apart, put it in different iterations, different orders, and create sort of your own combination of sets, which that definitely is certainly fun however like i said i think there was just there was better options out there uh, than this medieval seaside market i have to man my heart really goes out to delusion brick his was essentially a very similar design just a newer seaside sort of encampment with very better better designed i do have to say than this and much more creative much more stylistic but unfortunately i don't I would be curious to know what Bricklink, the the voters in this are thinking. Not the voters, but the people who are actually making the decisions. I'm I'm kind of curious what they're thinking uh, with these sets. As I just want to get into their head and, and understand uh, kind of what's going on. Moving on to the siege encampment. Now, for me, it was between the medieval seaside market and this one that I thought were the most weak, for better or for worse. I will admit it is a bit personal of my personal style of play that I really don't prefer having all these mini builds that can sit around all over the place. I'd rather have one large cohesive build. And these ones appear to be just that mini builds kind of all over the place. Of course, this would go really well with the medieval seaside market if you wanted to place siege to that market, I guess. But I don't know. It's, it's kind of a conglomeration of sets. I really like these builds. These little tent builds look fantastic, but I think for the level of skill that we've come to expect, that I've come to expect 
with the Bricklink Designer Program. I just, I unfortunately don't see this in there. But you will certainly have to let me know in the comments what you think with these sets. Now, this trebuchet, of course, it's a beautiful design, very unique. I just think, based on what we've gotten otherwise, I think there's more there that we can expect. Now, this one, Riverside Scholars, designed by Han Was, is a very... He's no stranger to the Brooklyn Designer Program, and I think this fits the niche that he has created in his other sets, the Ocean House, and I believe Series 2, and in an earlier iteration of the Brickling Designer Program, he designed a windmill, and they all are kind of in the same vein. They're in the same style, which I really, really greatly appreciate from Hanwas in his designs. But looking through this one, it's a very cohesive build. It fits all together. And I just appreciate the, the design, the style. You've got a beautiful waterfall here and some items going under, some water that can flow underneath that bridge. I remember we looked at this in one of our live streams and I really did appreciate it. I appreciated the style, like I said. It's got a lot of uniqueness with it. Little bookshelf there. And I just, I really appreciate this overall design and of course how he's really stayed true to his creative, his or her creative style. Uh, with this design here. So I would have to put this at either one or two. So in my opinion, looking at these, and it may vary from your opinion, I definitely wanna hear from you all in the comments what you feel about the Bricklink Designer Program Series 4. Were you let down by these finalists? Which one was in your top five? I'd have to put either Merchant Boat and the Riverside Scholars at top choice and Wild West Train third, and then, then the Medieval and Seaside, uh, Medieval Seaside and Siege and Cam, but kind of in that last place spot, which, I know I'm not necessarily a medieval slash castle person, so my voting may be way different than yours. But once again, please let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear what you all think. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, hey, give it a, give it a dislike. Either way, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment. Go ahead and subscribe for future Brooklyn Designer Program videos, as well as many other types of videos all on LEGO. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.